Now, if you haven't watched the training video on entering in your resources, you want to watch that because here I'm going to show you how to assign costs to those resources. As you recall, there are four different types of resources. First, we had our work, which are those people that will be working on the task within the project, or our work resources. Then we have the materials that will be consumed on some of the task, our material resources. Then we have our cost resources, which is a one-time cost or expense. In this case, we just have one for travel expenses. Now, don't be fooled if we have one cost that it can only be applied to one task. You can apply this to many tasks and have many different expenses for those tasks. For example, task two, if you have to fly out of the city, you could say for the airfare, lodging, and meals, that's one expense. If you have to fly to another city on task five, that will be another expense, and I'll show you how to enter in those expenses. But let's get started with our work resources by going over here to the standard rate column. You'll notice that it goes HR, or hourly rate, all the way up until you hit the material resources, and of course the cost has none. So if I just come up here and for Rider 1 type in $15, hit enter, it's $15 an hour. And of course type in the rest of the numbers here. Now keep in mind it doesn't have to be hourly. If you've got somebody that's, that's going to be expensed weekly or monthly or yearly, just go ahead and type it in. So for example, if the project manager gets $5,000 a week, just type in $5,000, hit the forward slash key, and then type in WK, hit enter, and there's your $5,000 a week. Now if it's monthly, think of it the same thing. Just type in 10,000 forward slash MO for month and then hit enter. Now, if you can't see it, you get a bunch of pound signs. Again, project, all the cells in here are act and respond in a lot of ways, just like Microsoft Excel. So you want to watch the training videos on Excel. If you get that, you'll really pick up on what these mean. Pound symbols mean that the uh, width of the column is too short to see the numbers within it. So to do a best fit, just come up here, if you recall, double click on the column header really fast and click on best fit. And it'll fit this to the longest text within the column, which is $10,000 a month. Now, of course, that's not in Excel. Doing that, let me hit undo. If you want to do it like in Excel, just come up here and hover your mouse in between the two column headers until you get two arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then you double click, and that also does a best fit. That's an Excel feature right there. Not double clicking on the uh, column header there. And then finally, yearly, let's do 150000 forward slash YR enter. Now project will keep track of this. So let's go back to our $5,000 a week example. Now project will calculate this out. So it's not going to give him $150,000 if he's only worked two days. It'll actually take all the days within the year and assign the days so many dollars a day based upon your yearly rate. So let's do something easy. Like let's say they got $5,000 a week. That's $1,000 a day. If they've only worked three days, then project will calculate $3,000. Okay, we're out of our work resources, we're going into our material. No longer is it by hourly rate, it's actually just cost, and in this case it's per material label in reams for our paper. So how much is a ream of paper? Like isn't it about 500 sheets? And this is glossy paper, so it's a little bit more expensive per ream, so we could say it's $25 per 500 sheets of glossy paper, or ream. So I can assign four reams, in which case it'd be a total of $100, again it's $25 per ream, or sheets of 500. Uh, for the plain paper, it's not as expensive as glossy, so we could do $15 for 500 sheets or per ream. And then for the printer, we'll say it's $500 for one printer. Now, I could assign the printer to one task, and there's my $500 for the cost of that printer. You don't want to assign it to other tasks, because if you do, it's going to be $500 each. So to keep it simple, assign it to one task, and if you have other people that will be using that, then either enter in another resource, another printer resource, and have a zero cost to it, because you don't want to keep assigning this and adding up, you know, if you haven't purchased a second printer. Just assign it once and then let the resources share it, but just assign it to one task so it can be expensed. Now notice down below in our cost resource here, I'm not talking about the budgets here for cost working material, just the cost resource itself. You can go ahead and try to type in that cell. It doesn't allow you to type in a number. And the reason why is because we don't want to limit ourselves to one travel expense cost. So how you enter in the cost for the travel expense will be in two different places. And I'll show you those places. First of all, you'll have to assign the cost resource to a task. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and enter in the cost. First of all, we're going to have to assign the cost to a task in order to be able to define what that cost is. So let's go ahead and right click on the collapse view bar, go to the Gantt chart, and let's see, the project manager 
for this task is going to be traveling out to let's say another city and you can see the project managers that are working on the task so we want to assign the, the travel expense cost or the resource cost to this task to get them out there to cover this task let's say it's in Oklahoma so we know how to assign resources to a task select the task come up here click on the two dudes button you've got your resources go ahead and scroll down to find your travel expenses select it now you can assign it and then go to another view and type in how much those travel expenses are which you'll have to add up the meals lodging airfare or before you assign it you've got it selected right just come over here and then type in let's see the total expenses twelve hundred and then click assign and you're done okay and then close out and there it is twelve hundred dollars now I have a question why did it put the twelve hundred dollars here the uh, expense or the cost for this cost resource and not for the others well basically if you enter in all your resources then assign all the cost and then you come up here and then assign your resources it'll go ahead and enter in the cost but because I already had these resources assigned before I entered in the cost they're not going to be entered or displayed over to the right so that's a good learning example if you want them displayed to the right here but it's still keeping track of the cost one of the ways I can find out besides reports and other things is to come up here and click on the project menu go down to project information go to statistics and you can see the total cost it's just not calculating the twelve hundred dollars it's actually calculating all the other costs here that are assigned to Rider 1 working on all these different tasks and the admin assistant, the editor, is calculating them all. So just because you don't see them here doesn't mean the project isn't taking it into account. Let me go ahead and hit the undo button here and let's go ahead and assign the expense. Let's say that I don't know for now but I know it's going to be a travel expense. Click assign, close out, there's the travel expense. You can come up here and double click on the task, okay? and then come to the resources tab then where it says travel expenses go ahead and type in 1200 and then click OK and there it is or another way let me hit undo and then of course you can see over here that travel expenses is still assigned to it but there's no cost because we removed it I'm actually going to show you a third way or another way to assign a cost to the cost resource besides this view but it has to be assigned to a task so you can do it in another view by right clicking on the collapse view bar going down to resource usage and this is a fun view because it shows me all my resources here and the tasks that they're assigned to underneath those resources so Rider 1 is assigned to all these tasks you can see up above that we have no resources assigned to these tasks here hence they're unassigned and you can see we've got a resource that's unused so our resource usage here the resource usage view it says on our collapse view bar is not being used or it is being used resource usage so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and remember we had our travel expenses resource the cost now it's been assigned to review with subject matter experts that task so what I can do is I can double click on that task and there's the cost right there I mean there's more than one way to skin a rabbit there's more than one way to enter in cost while well, I'm showing you these different ways I'm also introducing you to some of these new views that make it a little bit easier when it comes to tracking your resources and what tasks they're assigned to I mean you can look at it in the Gantt chart over next to each bar within the Gantt chart but again this is another way without viewing a chart and then of course come in here let's do 1300 hit enter and then if we go ahead and we right click we go back to the Gantt chart there's 1300 thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos